Hey YouTubers, this is Nick. Um, update on the 07 F-150 with the Mazama tires. <clears throat> uh, update for the intake and tune option that I was talking to you guys about. So, uh, your Mazamas are holding up great. <clears throat> I've probably put three to 4,000 miles on them um, since I've had them. Towing, I got a 22 foot Jayco camper that we tow, went camping half a dozen times this summer. It's towed wonderfully, they're good tires. I air them up a little bit more than manufacturer recommendations. Um, Ford recommends, I think it's 35 PSI, so I bumped them up to I think 40 for towing, they're a 10 ply. Um, anyway, the uh, Eibach springs in there, you can see those. I did put on some Hellwig helper springs on the rear end. Um, big difference with level towing capabilities. Um, yeah. So the intake uh, tune option. I will show you that really quick. Um, told you guys I was gonna get an intake. It wasn't the one that I wanted. I told you I was going to order something online. Um, so I did. And what I got, again, like I said, it wasn't wasn't what I wanted, but the, manuf or the tuner is what they use. So I went with what they recommend. Um, Ta-da! So I got an SMB intake uh, made in the USA, which I'm really happy about. Um, really good filtration, um, really happy with it. I went with a um, five star tuning was the company that did the tune and all their tunes that they build and do in house, they use SMBs to um, do their testing. So I figured why not go with what they're using that makes a little bit more sense to use something that they're building their tunes off of. Um, I'm like super scruffy right now. Face is itchy as heck. Uh, pff, just ate a bug. Um, I have to shave off my beard next weekend for fit testing. Uh, I have a job to where we have to be required to wear respirators um, for protection. And so part of that is that once a year we have to get a test done to make sure that they fit right and have to clean shave. So um, anyway, yeah. Not really excited about shaving off my beard, but it'll be okay. Um, anyways, guys, yeah. So, Mazama tires. Open range, Les Schwab, Mazama. Um, great tire. I, I can't be more impressed with them. Um, no complaints at all. Done a bunch of off-road, and we went camping three weeks ago, four weeks ago, up in the Blue Mountains with our camper and uh, there was like two inches of snow up there when we went up there. Didn't have a problem at all with the tires uh, in the snow. They're a snow rated tire. Um, you know, and the camper is not the smallest camper in the world. So it, yeah, like I said, I'm really happy with those tires. I, I don't think I'll have any complaints. Um, uh, yeah, oh, excuse me. Ibox springs, I say Ibox or Ibox shocks. No, correction, those are Bilstein's 5100s. Um, did the fronts also? They're an adjustable shock. I have them all the way up in the highest setting, which is two inches. Um, I think I'm probably going to this weekend drop them down to um, the one inch setting. So it's three different settings on there stock height. Um, one inch of lift and then two inches of lift. So they're on the highest setting, which is two inches of lift. And they they feel fine when I go like off of something off of a bump. They kind of, I can hear the, the um, control arms and everything kind of bottom out down the bottom end. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I might, might, might do that, might not. Um, was battling a miss in the truck here at the last couple weeks at cold idle the truck would um, kind of sputter 
occasionally, you know, like every 10, 15 seconds, it just kind of have a little lope to it, a little shake. Um, so I took it to the mechanic that I trust. It wasn't throwing any check engine lights. If it was, I would have figured that out. Um, I had one of my coil packs was bad. So replace that. Um, but I've got a problem where I'm pulling hills and the truck will kind of just lose power when I'm pulling hills. RPM stay up where they're supposed to. It just kind of like bogs down a little bit. So um, I think, well, I'm positive that I've got some cats that are going bad. So um, already you've heard the video that's the straight pipe video that I have, cold start straight pipe. Um, it's not straight pipe because it has a muffler. But after this weekend, it's going to be a little bit louder. So um, I'll do an updated video this weekend for that. So stay tuned for a uh, fresh cold start Sunday morning. I'll upload that to you guys and tell me what you think as far as the difference. If it's louder, if it sounds nasty, um, it sounds like shit, um, let me know. Anyways, um, thank you for everybody that's watched my videos. I appreciate it. I know that I suck at this, but as I do this, I'll try to get a little bit better and try to refine it and make it a little cleaner. Um, if you haven't, you want to, subscribe down there. Um, like my videos or dislike them. I don't care. If you dislike them, that just gives me criticism that helps teach me what I can do and what I can't do. Um, try to get better at it. You know, nobody is perfect and we all have room for improvement and um, yeah um, I might do a shave video too by a week from now so next week and the first full weekend in November will be the week that I'll shave off my beard after Halloween um, I do a shave video too those are always kind of fun anyways thanks guys um, like and subscribe see you guys next time